Welcome everyone! In today's video I'm gonna teach you how to make a good looking paper sniper rifle that shoots. First you will have to make 11 paper rolls with different shapes and sizes. I know it's a lot of work, but this will make the process much easier. To make the first type of rolls, get a sheet of paper and roll it with a pencil, then fix it with some tape and then use a small stick to push the pencil out. To make the second one, get a tube of paper glue and roll a sheet of paper with it, fix it with some tape and then take the tube out. For the biggest one, get three sheets of paper and roll them together. Then you know what to do next. Now we will start the process by taking four paper rolls and put them together like that. Fix them together with some tape and make sure that you leave the area at the end untaped so that you can hold the trigger and the grip in place. After that, press on both ends of the rolls and push it to the inside. Then take the biggest two rolls and insert both ends inside each roll. As you can see, it will look something like a ninja stick. Next, take one paper roll and cut it equally in half. Take one and press on each step to flatten it out, then stick it between the rolls at the untaped area that I told you about. Then take the other one and glue it right behind the first one. Now we need to make a cover for the grip, so we'll cut a sheet of paper in half, then fold each piece this way. Fold the top of each piece until it fits with the grip, then cut any excess paper you may have. Now glue both covers on each side of the grip. You can just leave it like that or you can put some tape around it to make it look better. Take another piece of roll and glue it at the bottom of the barrel. Now let's start making the stock by taking a piece of roll and glue it back at the bottom. Then cut the excess piece of roll and keep it for now. Take another roll and cut it equally in half. Glue one piece at the top, then cut the other in half and glue one piece at the bottom. After that, take a sheet of paper and fold it in half both ways. Then fold the corners as if you are making a paper plane. Take that and cover the stock with it, then glue it in place. Pressing on the rolls at the back and the front and making a progressive slope to it would actually make the rifle look better. You can also keep it in place by putting some tape around it. Now let's start making the scope by taking a sheet of paper and folding it in half. Then cut it into two pieces. Fold the biggest one in half, then take the remaining piece of roll and roll the paper at the edge. Fix the roll with some tape, then take the other piece and repeat the same steps you did for the first one. You can adjust the size of the scope the way you want, also you can add more rolls if you want to shape the scope in a good way. You can also put some tape around it to hide the connecting lines between the rolls. Take the piece of roll that we kept before and glue it to the middle of the scope. After that, put a strip of paper around the stock, fix it with some tape, then glue the scope on it. If you feel that the scope is quite shaky, fold a small piece of paper and glue it up with the connecting roll. You are able now to rotate the scope either right or left. This way you can prevent any contact might happen with the trigger. Finally, we need to make one last piece of roll and cut it into three pieces. Take the smallest one and fold it like this, then glue it at the front.
Take the middle size piece and fold it reversely like this. Then make an angle cut at its top. After that, get a rubber band and put it around it. This is gonna be the trigger. Stick the trigger between the rolls until it gets out from the other side. Now take the remaining piece of roll and shape it like a trigger guard. Then glue it in place under the trigger. Put a piece of tape in front of the trigger to prevent it from slipping. Then make a side cut to the paper roll at the front to hang the rubber band on it. This way, whenever you pull the trigger, the rubber band will pull it back. Now it's time to make some shootings. First, rotate the scope aside, then stretch the rubber band between the front side and the trigger. Once you pull the trigger, the rubber band will be released. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, make sure that you press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.